This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. Springtime is mad scientist time. Each year I have dozens of ideas that I want to try, see what works and what doesn't work. So what I've come up with this year is because I remember numerous times in my lifetime of seeing big trees being killed by lightning. And so even though this is a miniature lightning, if you will, a stun gun, 100,000 volts they say, and so I'm going to shock a few trees, a half a dozen trees this year, to see if it affects them any or if it kills them. And we'll keep you informed because this would be a very inexpensive way. This costs $14 and of course it's rechargeable. It might do a real good job of keeping down at least a few of the trees. Of course there's most of a million trees in this 150 miles uh, that the river runs and that's part of the problem because each one of them you know those trees wants 10 gallons of water a day plus and that adds up I'm here to tell you I'm here to tell you be that as it may that's one of the uh, scientific uh, studies that we're going to do the hypothesis and the tests are ongoing and I'll keep you informed you're looking at about four acres it's just grass right next to the river a hundred years ago, they'd have been farming this. I said farming it. Yeah, mostly sand, but you'd be amazed at what crops you can grow that like a sandy soil next to the river, next to the water table. You produce a lot of food for the area, or weapons, or medicine, right here, just like this. South of McCook, it's open ground, the rich man doesn't use it, and as long as he allows you on his land, you both can profit. You both can profit. We need every bit of southwest Nebraska producing and making wealth and growing wealth in whatever form and wherever we possibly can. The old man gets winded after a mile or so. Getting old, ain't I? But I don't mind getting on my knees checking out the sand. Of course, I'm doing a wee bit more than that. Doing a little panning. Shh. You bet. I still think there's more gold in this area than they're telling us. Absolutely. Just like they said there wasn't nothing here 150 years ago. Just Indians and rattlesnakes. But Southwest Nebraska, as most parts of the United States, have so much wealth you can't imagine. But it starts at the river. And on the Stone Age, that's how they survived. It was from river to river, from creek to creek, from pond to pond. Without that, they couldn't survive. And on a day after event, this is going to be life or death right here. Water, you bet. And the food that it can grow. Absolutely. If you don't walk the river, you're missing an awful lot that God gives you. The potential is astronomical. And the cleansing of the soul that no drug can do for you better than a running river and walking. And I've said it before, that the only thing that'd make it better is if you were here walking with me. You're looking at cedars, a million of them in a 150 mile stretch. You think that could damage the water system? Absolutely. And they're going to only increase it's an illegal alien, if you will, in the tree world and in Republican River Valley. In the old days, it, uh, Mother Nature would burn these out with wildfires now and then from lightning strikes, what have you. But today they survive. They thrive. They reproduce. And they're just scattered all up and down this river valley, right next to the river. So they're drinking a lot of water that we can't afford to let them have when Kansas is going to sue us if we don't get this water down to them. Yep. And I also watch for rattlesnakes and copperheads while I'm down here with my BB pistol. But that's some of our problems that we face. <laughs>